Oh god, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh my <gasps> Zombies. Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you are new, well hello. My name is Joe and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff. And the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff with nails. Swelly swirls. I hope you are all doing fabulously. We're starting today's set with cream satin. I'm going to do two coats of that, obviously curing in between each coat. This is a gel perfection polish, as are all the polishes in this video, and you can get them at diamondglitters.co.uk. And you can use code TEAMDG if you want a sneaky little discount. Um, we're going to do swirl, swirly, swirl, swirl, swirl nails because they are kind of trending at the moment. I'm a bit behind um, because I figured, well, I mean, was there is there really a great deal to show and tell about swirl nails? But here we are, let's do some swirl nails together. So I've cured those two coats of, I'm shouting, cream satin, and I'm now taking a lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I like doing that, there you go. And I'm doing a kind of a swirl, <laughs> who'd have thunk? Um, and I'm, I'm going to show you, um, I, I don't know if it's one or two at normal, my sloth or sloth, how do you say it? I say sloth, but some people say sloth. Google says it's sloth, but I still prefer sloth. Sloth-like painting, um, very slow, basically. Um, and then I'll sort of speed the rest up a bit because it gets a bit samey, samey, samey. Um, so I'll, I'll do this and I'm, I've decided to kind of do it a bit different to s swirl nails I've seen um, where they have, you know, two or three colours or maybe three, three colours um, and they're all kind of the same thickness. I decided to make some a bit thicker in areas and then we'll, we'll, you'll see when we get there. Shall we wait until we get there? Okay, so I'm going to do lollipop um, first, first. <laughs> Are we still playing the drinking game? Is anyone playing the drinking game still? Where you drink when I say words kind of emphatically. Um, and then I'm cu I'm full curing, I think, um, each colour. And when it comes to where I'm deciding how where to put the swirl or what shape to do, I'm just not thinking about it. Just don't think about it. I did think about it obviously at first but then I realized that the first two that I thought I'll make sure these are different but I didn't look at the first one when I was doing the second one and it kind of turned out pretty much the same uh, so I'm, I'm taking from a different starting point each time and and just trying to make sure they're all different but not overthinking it um, just get a swirl on there just run your brush wiggly wibbly woo um, and then you see there in the center I'm making that a bit fatter thicker thicker in the middle and then this one see I went up and then down again I wish I'd have that was the last one and I wish I'd have um done more like that so come down and then go up and out or whatever but you know I'd already done the others so there was no turning back and then I give everything a full cure have I said this already I'm going to full cure you could do a half cure or you could even sort of give a, a 10 20 second cure um but when you push colours right up next to another colour, like we're doing here, then sometimes they can sort of push away from each other. Does that make sense? Like you, And you get a sort of dark line where they've sort of wanted to separate a little bit if they're not um, fully cured. So I've full cured the lollipop. Um, and now I'm taking Fleur, which is one of the newbies there's more newbies coming out soon <gasps> i'm very excited the summer brights collection they're going to be summery and they're going to be bright um so i'll show you those um when i get my hands on them so i'm now taking fleur and i'm doing the same but i i then got to this point and thought hmm how can we mix things up so i decided to then is it this bit oh no it's a bit further down 
um, but I'm making it a bit thicker in areas and thinner in other areas. And then here I thought, let's bring it behind and then, it, oh, mess that up. Just use your finger. It's fine. Um, and having it come out the other side. Um, oh, no, I'm, take, I'm taking it up a bit, but just so it looks like it's kind of going behind it or just, I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Um, so I'm just kind of making it up as I go along, which is good for designs like this because you can't go wrong. There's no wrong swirl. It's just a swirl. It can be however you damn well want it. Um, and then the same on this. So I decided to do that across all of them. So do a thick bit in some areas and then have it coming on one side on the left and then on, on the right um, at the bottom half or, you know, right at the top and left at the bottom. You know what I mean? Uh, and what was I, what did I need to tell you? Um, oh, I had something to tell you all. I don't know. It's gone. Um, is it Friday? No, it's Wednesday. No, no, it's Thursday. Um, but I haven't got any clients tomorrow. So my weekend has already started, uh, which is no excuse for me not knowing what I'm doing or what I'm talking about, but let's pretend it is. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm doing the same on this side. Um, and then th making sure where I start on the other side, the end of the... Right, okay, make sure I word this kind of cohesively. Where the first side of the blue ends, I'm making sure it's thin. And where the second, the other side of the blue starts, I'm making sure that's thin as well. So they're thin where they meet um, in the middle or wherever you start your join oh fuck I'm terrible at this I'm not prepared I normally watch the video through first to prepare myself as to what to say but I haven't haven't done that today <laughs> um so I'm going to do the same on all of them uh yeah it's a bit samey it's a bit samey but you know let's just hang out um I'm hanging out with I'm lying on something oh 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 it's a piece of lego um <laughs> as you do it's, uh, it must be from the, I'm building the Saturn V5 rocket. Rocket. Uh, that's how my nanny would say, rocket, rocket. She had an accent. Where was it from? I don't know. It's probably a bit too late to ask her now. She's been dead for several years. I'll ask my dad. <laughs> he might know. I was a bit scared of my nanny. I'm just going to chat, really, because I'm doing the same thing. Um, I hope that's okay. If it's not, go away. I'm not holding a gun to your head. Um, that's for the haters. We know what they're like. They'll moan that I'm not talking about the nails, but you know, you, they don't have to be here, do they? Nobody needs haters. So many of you, um, in the comments, you know, saying about how bizarre it is that people leave negative comments, um, on videos, just click away, just watch something else, you know? Um, but it happens. So you just have to make fun of it like we do on this channel. Um, what was I saying? My nanny. Yeah, I was a bit scared of her. Not scared. More intimidated. Um, she she didn't really like girls. She had four boys. Wasn't a fan of girls. I'd go around on my lunch, on my lunch break and be like, Hi, nanny, you okay? What have you been up to? And she'd be like, I'm 88 years old. What do you think I've been up to skydiving? And I'd be like, okay, sorry. <laughs> Bless her. She was one of those glamorous grannies, though, who was always... Hair done, makeup on, dressed nicely. Um, I haven't. I don't remember the last time I had my hair done and makeup on, and I was dressed in clothes that weren't made of t-shirt material. I don't know when that was. <laughs> Quite a few weeks ago, probably. So I'm now taking. What have we got now? We've got pink petals. So what I'm going to do here is do the same, having some bits thin, some bits thick, but meet it up with the blue. So I'll obviously do it on the opposite side to the blue. And then, um, I mean, it would look fine if you wanted to just do the blue on one side and the pink on one side. But I, I just thought I'd mix it up to try and make it more interesting. Oh, and then, oh, goodness me, I, I did them and thought, this is going to be a really boring video. It's just me painting, painting stripes. You can see where I put quite a bit on there. I'll now use that product where I've put quite a bit on to sort of fill out the rest of the line. You don't want to leave it too thick. Otherwise, it will crinkle in the lamp. And sometimes if you can get away with using um, the spot that you're putting polish in to start with, there's a kind of palette. Um, so if I'm filling something in, I'll put a blob of polish 
in the middle and then kind of just spread that out. So that's sort of what I was doing with that stripe. There was a bit at the top, so I'll use that and stretch it along um, the rest of the line. Uh, what was I saying? Um, oh, yes. I I thought it was a bit of a, going to be a boring video, so I ended up just trying to add more and more. Um, and you'll have to let me know in the comments if you think I completely fucked it up. Um, by adding what I do what I do at the end. But I just thought, I need it needs more. We need to faff. So that's what I did. So same again, doing normal speed. Um, so this is how slowly I paint. And meeting it up with the blue. And the good thing about most of the Gel Perfection polishes is that that pink will cover the dark. They're so opaque that I can, you know, go over any colour with any other colour. I, I went over black with some white once and it just completely blocked it out because they're nice and opaque. But um, if you do go too far onto one of the colours, then just wipe it off or um, make the line you've gone onto a bit thinner because you can't be bothered to wipe it off, <laughs> which, is, which is often the case in this set. Uh, and then hopefully sped this bit up um, and I'll, I'll, we'll chat about something else. I'm thinking... The video, the, sorry, the comment I left for you guys to ask questions. I'm thinking I might do like a face-to-face -face answering them. Um, what do you think? Or should I do, should I talk about it whilst doing another set? Or should I just have a face-to-face -face and sit down and, and chat with you all and answer your questions? I might do that. Oh, I've got to put makeup on. Okay, you're worth it. You guys are worth the effort. Um, and now we're doing the same again on the next nail. <laughs> Nothing's happening. I don't know what to say. Um, who's watching the tennis, the French Open? It's, it's difficult to watch in um, the States, I guess, because of the time difference. But we're only an hour different to um, Paris here. And I have been, I've had tennis on all day every day um and i just love it oh i'm now taking alaska and i'm just going to go completely down one side with this um i didn't want to do the thing where i do do it coming out the other side so i'm just going down one side i just this is this is the point where i thought well i can't just stop at the three colors we've put on that's just boring so we're adding alaska um and it just kind of lightens it up i think as well uh so that was that was that. Another swirl. When doing lines, let me try and see if I can offer any any line advice. Um, hmm, let's have a think. <laughs> With the long brush, long brushes, long stripers are obviously better for long stripes. Um, but when I do this, um, the when I get to the end, when I, especially when I was sort of tailing off the blue um, from the top to stop it before switching sides with the blue you don't want to let it flick too much because it will go somewhere else on the nail so it's good to let it kind of do its own thing guide it obviously but when you get to the end be a bit more um what's the word i'm looking for just have a bit more control over the brush so this i can sort of let the brush do the work there i'm guiding it but i'm not um thinking about it too much but then when you get to the end you have to just carefully lift it off as opposed to let it flick too much because it will flick and go somewhere else is that rubbish advice maybe does it make sense maybe not <laughs> uh, when i was trying to improve my striping i would draw the thinnest line i possibly could paint uh, on a nail and then i would draw another thin line next to it as thin as I could and then I would try and do a line in between them that didn't touch either of them just to that'll help you get used to how much pressure you apply it's all about pressure um you know obviously the more pressure you put down the thicker the line's going to be the less then the thinner it will be um so that's a good way to practice line work but I think with lines there is it is just down to practice the more you do the better you're better you'll get at it um but if you have any questions that kind of are technical questions then please do ask because i don't 
I don't know. I'm not very good at thinking of questions that people might have. Uh, or whether anyone thinks I'm <laughs> worth being the person to ask. But if, if you think I am, then ask away and I'll do my best to to help with any questions. I'm now adding stars. I know. Does this make sense? I don't think it does. But here we are. I love stars. So we're putting some stars on it. Is it just again, I looked at it and thought, well, they're just it looks nice on people on human hands when they have just got the swirls but just looking at this set I thought it looks just looks a bit boring so I'm adding stars I don't really think it suits the swirls but I don't think it's too offensive let me know what you think if the stars just completely ruined it and they were a bad idea um but doing stars is the classic up down in a v and then joining all the points together I wanted one to sort of be coming off the end a bit here um I <laughs> editing this the amount of times there was one star I can't remember which one that I just just wasn't working for me um and I redid it about nine times uh, so it doesn't always just go I know some people say that you know it make I make it look easy in the videos that's that's not me that's editing um I, it might have been this one actually that I did a gazillion times uh, and then just started to get quite annoyed at myself and thought the one I do next is the one that's going to stick. I don't care what it looks like um, because I love stars, but I'm not the best at drawing them. But if I did this with a pen on paper, it would be fine. But I just, I don't know. And then I look at it from all different angles and it needs changing from every angle. But just look at it from one angle and get it right that way. Because if you then turn and try and make, you know, one of the points that was on the left, the top point, and see if it makes, you know, if it's symmetrical from there, then you just keep going and going. You have this kind of eyeliner um, effect where you just keep adding and making that bit longer. Or now you need to adjust that bit or that bit or that bit. Um, so look at it from one angle and get it right from there because if you turn it, it might not look right, but you would just keep going forever. Uh, and when I do the draw the outline, I try and fill in not going into the line of the outline because otherwise you start to soften the point. Um, does that make sense? I think so. So I'll draw this. I'm, I, mean, I probably won't do it right now, but I'll draw that and then just fill in the gaps. I won't... Um, push my brush right up to the point again that's the plan that's the that's the thing to aim for but I don't always do that but that was how you'll keep this crisp line from that you initially drew I've talked about this for too long now shut up and move on uh, I'm now going to top coat everything <laughs> with diamond glass of course of course um, and then we will be done I think this would have looked really nice matte I did consider doing matte and then just shiny over the swirls that might look cool actually yeah that would have looked really cool but uh I didn't but if you do um recreate them and you do do it that way or however you do them if you recreate anything from from the videos on this channel please always um at miss joe's nail co them on instagram because i love i love so much to see them and they're all so cool and it's i saw a few recently of the pride rainbow pride bright set uh, that i did recently and it's just mad like I, I sat in bed and designed something on my tablet and now other people are painting it and it's just it's madness i i love to see that it makes me really really happy uh, finishing off with a top coat here, finishing off, and uh, that is all of them. I hope you like them. What do you think of the stars? Let me know. Did I ruin it? Um, I like stars. I don't think they're too offensive, but it just kind of added a bit more than just swirls. Uh, if you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more videos. You can follow Miss Jo's Nail Co on Instagram. I appreciate you being here so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye. Oh, damn. <gasps> oh, no.